Hello, Chloe. And I've got a, a tree behind me, it's a eucalypt. One that goes very close to the ground in this very, very special place. Got some banging in the background, just try and ignore it. It's a bit warmer here in Melbourne now. So, let's just start the channeling. Everything comes in cycles. Everything comes in cycles and goes in cycles. We have acquiesced to a formidable foe that no longer favours and values human life. If it ever did, it was for a minuscule amount of time. Your choices, although seemingly impossible to surmount, are all based on fear and not law and not common law and not spiritual law and not L-O-R-E, law of the universe, which states that you have sovereignty over your body. And yes, I can, I can hear and feel that people go, well, do I really have a choice? Because I've been pressured into it by my employer. Everybody has a choice. Everybody has a choice. You can say, no, I'm not doing that. Knowing your rights is so important and they can fire you and then you can take them to court. So you do have a choice. So I feel like it's time for people to get angry. It's time for people to get their, to get in touch with their rage. Get in touch with that, that fire in the belly. That fire in the in the belly that just goes, no. No, what? I don't want this. And I'm not going to be another one of the people that follow the crowd. Like lemmings off a freaking cliff. That's what it is. People looking at me. Hello. You know? It doesn't matter. And that's that thing. That social pressure again. Oh, but we've all had it. You've got to have it. Go not. Be okay to stand on your own two feet and have sovereignty and not follow the herd. If you have always followed the herd, start thinking maybe it's a good idea to do things differently now. And for all the people, that I can hear that are holding the line and standing strong, good on you and keep on doing it because you know what? There's going to be a lot more people jumping over. I'm actually visually getting um, a picture of all the people on this side that were jumping off the cliff and now quickly scrambling over to this side. And you know, as much as like Spirit's always been saying it's not about sides, um, we have had this creation of this matrix and this 3D reality where it's been divided. We know that reality. Um, and I think why spirit has been saying, don't, you know, be jumping from one thing to the other and, and looking, just pull yourself back and look at the game, right? Is because of the fear that's involved in both sides, actually insides for and against and where's the love and where's the humanity just watch your humanity I'm always just nice to people even if they've got a mask on even if they give me evils and sideway glances I kind of just oh yeah okay oh, okay sometimes it can get you down because I mean we're all we're all human aren't we 
They're all tribal. But seriously, right now is the time to step away if you can. Um, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, pull your energy back and be okay with doing your own thing. Um, psychological warfare making everyone be so isolated so you think and you get pulled into the idea that okay if I have this jab then I'll have my human contact again but you know what that temporary reality is at odds with the long term gains okay this is the long game here look at it from in the long term overview where am I going to be in one, two, three years if there's any effects from this thing that I put into my body that's ex experimental. So things to think about. You know, do you really need that job? Honestly, do you? Can we maybe start your own business, something that you've always wanted to do? Can you shuffle things around? Can you just hold out for a little while longer? Because Spirit's shown me there's some class actions coming up, okay? Legal class actions that are coming up. And I can hear worldwide. And around the monetary gains in regards to our government and pharmaceutical companies. Okay? And all of that is going to be, I can hear it, smashed open like Pandora's box. <laughs> And now I understand what they mean by that. There's been a recent leaking of something to do with Pandora's box. But yeah, how fitting is that? Something smashed open and all, all the little creepy crawlies coming out and all that information coming out. So if you're like wobbly, please hold out, okay? Just please hold out and don't give away your sovereignty for a small, small gain that you think is a large gain, right? Long term, look at the long term gains. Now some, but the pressure is so much and now we've got some chainsaw or axle grinder in the back there. Because it is, it cuts into your, your life, whether you like it or not in, in, if you've got a family, socially, with the larger family units, with your friends. But honestly, I'd ra I've always been a loner. It's probably that's what's helped me in my own development in connecting to my guides. I say to everyone else, this is an initiation. This is an initiation into the underworld. All right? All these things are going to be coming up in your psyche and your consciousness that are at odds with the wider, the whole society. Because our society is sick. It's, look at the mental health. Look at, just look at it. It's not functional. It's a sick world. And we've called this in, our high selves have called this in for us to gain from it. But it's an initiation. You know, I've mentioned in other videos, it's like giving birth. You're birthing the new era, and this is true. But yeah, it's going to be difficult. And it certainly is. We're really feeling it. But think, think and feel and ask for your guidance right now. If you're stuck and you feel like you've got to make that decision, just ask now, they're saying. Everyone ask now together. Please guides, because please guides, my higher self, guide me into the right thing to do. Help me be strong and help me see the way out of this situation where I feel stuck. And if you want to say Lord or Christ or 
whoever you believe in a higher consciousness, please help us all out of this situation in the most highest good of all people involved. Please help us all to see the light out of this dark situation. We are in Hades right now. We are in Hades hell. But I feel like we're still on that hero's journey where we're still descending into the underworld. We're, we're, we're not really in the underworld underworld, but we're getting pretty close. I feel, I feel like next year and you know we're going into it really. And all these numbers, 20, 2022, it's like these two, 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 two sides. Division, division, division. But also a portal, like a gateway. The whole of next year is a gateway. 2021 is lay, laying the foundations for this, this new earth. But as we see all the structures falling down around us, we have to stay strong and we have to hold in our heart that we will know the right way. Even if it means selling all your furniture, I don't know, selling your stuff, buying a little plot of land, like things, there's always a way out. There's literally always a way out rather than, you know, going ahead and, and following this blindly. And the con fatal, I can hear, consequences for many. You are loved. Have faith, you, you have the strength to get through this. You've probably been through, some, some of us have been through worse. During childhood, you know. We've all got the resilience in us to get through it. Surround yourself with people who are like-minded and we can all get through it. Okay, keep the faith, keep the strength. Hold the line. You'll get through it. See ya.